Hello, in this tutorial I will explain how to generate GIS maps showing the applied insecticide amount in agriculture. In the further steps I will use the open source softwares SagaGIS, CrassGIS and LibreOffice. First of all, I've calculated annual application rates per crop and per country. The calculated application rates were transferred into a LibreOffice spreadsheet document. The method how the application rates were calculated is described in a document which you can download from this homepage. This application rate spreadsheet document was exported as a DPF file. In LibreOffice you can do this in the following way. Push the Save As button and select the DBase format. Next, you have to start the software SagaGIS. The aim of the following step is to join the application rate table to a world map. The application rate table and the world map in shapefile format have to be loaded into SagaGIS. The world map used in this work is set at the country level, except for the USA where federal states are used as administrative level. In the next step, the imported table has to be joined to the attribute table of the world map. Choose the writer Shapes, Tools and execute the module Join a Table. Both the attribute table of the shapefile and the table which shall be joined have a column representing a common country identifier, for example the country name. Choose these columns as identifiers. Next, the created shapefile has to be saved. Now the application rate table is joined to the world map. Then you have to load the created application rate shapefile into SagaGIS. The aim of the following step is to create grids with a resolution of 5 arc minutes or 0.083 degree. The cell attributes of these grids represent the annual application rates in relation to the country and crop. I will do the step exemplary for one crop. Choose the folder Crit, Critting and execute the module Shapes to Crit. As attribute, select the crop for which you want to create a grid, for example apples. Next, you have to determine the cell size of the grid. Enter 0.083. Here you can see the created grid. Then save the created grid. The following steps will be done with the software CrassGIS. 
first you have to start the location wizard and create a new location. You have to define a GIS data directory where the data will be stored, a project location which is defined by its coordinate system and its map projection, and the location title. In this window, choose Select Coordinate System Parameters from a list. Here, select Latitude Longitude. Select Datum with Associated Ellipsoid. In this window, select WGS84. Then push the Start Cross button. In the next step, maps will be generated showing the harvested area in hectare per raster cell. The step must be done for each crop. I will do this exemplary for one crop. The used harvested area grids are available at the internet and are described in a publication from Manfrida et al. published in 2008. The cell values of the grids represent the harvested area in percent of the total cell area. The grids have a resolution of 5 arc minutes. For this work, the harvested area in percent of the cell area must be converted in absolute area values. I will do this by multiplying the grids described in Manfrida et al. with an area grid whose cell attributes represent the cell area in hectare. Both the cell area grid and the harvested area grid are stored as ASCII ASCII format. <coughs> to import them, select File, Import Raster Data, ASCII ASCII Grid Import. Select the raster which you want to import. And enter a name for the raster. Repeat this procedure for the cell area grid. Here you can see the harvested area grid, and here the cell area grid. Next, the geographic region must be set. Select Settings, Region, and execute the module Set Region. Then go to the right of bounds and enter the values for the edges. In this case, 90 north, 90 south, 180 east, and 180 west. Then Go to the rider resolution and set the resolution to 5 arc minutes.
In the next step, the two important maps will be multiplied. Select raster and execute the raster map calculator. Enter the name of the resulting grid. and enter an expression for the calculation. In this case, the harvested area grid in percent multiplied with the cell area grid. Here you can see the created grid. The cell values represent the harvested area in hectare, in this case for apples. In the following step, the applied insecticide amount per cell and per crop is determined. The step must be done for each crop. I will do this step exemplary for one crop, in this case apples. First, import the application rate grid for apples. Select File, import raster data, and execute the module common import format. The created application rate grid was stored as a SagaGIS binary grid. Select this format. Next, Select the file which shall be imported. The projection of the application rate grid is not imported into Kraskis. To use the projection of the current project, Set a check mark at override projection. To create a grid showing the applied insecticide amount per cell in relation to the crop, the application rate grid and the absolute harvested area grid must be multiplied. The step will be done with the raster map calculator. Select raster and execute the raster map calculator. Enter a name for the grid, which shall be generated. Enter the expression application rates apple multiplied with area apple in hectare. Here you can see the grid representing the applied insecticide amount per cell in apple cultivation. The total applied amount for all crops can be calculated by summing up the applied amount grids for all crops. For further steps, the total applied amount grid can be divided by a cell area grid or by a total harvested area grid. The cell values of the resulting grids represent the applied insecticide amount per cell area or the applied insecticide amount per harvested area. In this tutorial I explained how to generate GIS maps showing the applied insecticide amount in agriculture. The described method shall give an example how to create these maps but can also be used for other substances like fertilizers or other agrochemicals. 
you can contact me if you have questions to this tutorial or the described method.